Well, Harry, another point on the road and another clean sheet for yourselves and the boys. How are you feeling after it? We're disappointed, I think. You know, at this stage of the season, it probably feels like two points dropped. I think what we've done there is we've, we've probably piled a little bit of pressure on ourselves because there's seven games to go now and we're going to have to be perfect or near perfect if we uh, if we want to achieve what we set out to this season in terms of automatic promotion but there's still a lot of football to be played um, and all we can do is focus on on, the, on on our job you know I've I've been guilty myself of you know getting in and checking the scores and stuff like that but you can't rely on anybody else to do your favour it's just us focusing and, and, and doing what we have to do really so the onus is on us now and like I said there's very little margin for error now. Two points dropped where do you feel City struggled today? I think the encouraging sign is, is that we had we had chances. You know, on, on another day, I think Andy probably gets a hat trick, and, and the form that he's in at the minute, he probably gets five or six. But um, you know, he's allowed an off day. No one's no one's perfect. You know, we we all have good games and bad games, and, and that's fine. You know, he's, we go again on Monday, and he's still the only guy I want the ball falling to in, in the box, and he'll pick himself up, and we'll all get round him and give him a nice big hug. And um, yeah, I'd say on another day, you know, he gets a hat trick, and we win three 0 and, and, and we're buzzing. But unfortunately, it wasn't wasn't to be today. Um, but but the pleasing thing is, is that we, we sort of weathered their storm, particularly early on, um, and we limited them to very few opportunities. So uh, another clean sheet on the board is um, personally is, is very nice, and you know, it was a testament again to, to the lads that kept my day quite quiet, really. Yeah, I guess on that, if you can't get the win, get a point. And our friend Andy in the commentary box said, get that clean sheet for you as a goalkeeper. As much as you want those three points, it's building from the back for you, and you've got that. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, obviously, I, I sort of have personal targets, and, and, and the lads in front of me again. You know, I want to keep clean sheets. You know, there's there's only so much that you can control as a goalkeeper, and and that's something that sort of you learn over time. You know, you can't stick the ball in the back of the net as much as you'd love to for for us. But you know, it's it's just I'm just there to do my job. And let's like say I think I only had sort of one moment today where I've, got, I've had to tip one over the crossbar, and and that's fine. You know, I was there for my team today. Um, uh, that, that that's the most important thing. That's that's my job really. So it, it was a nice nice feeling to get the clean sheet. But um, as I say, just tinged with disappointment because it feels like two points dropped really. Some save the one you alluded to there. It's it's interesting when you look at goalkeepers when you don't have a lot to do. How, how do you make sure you stay razor focused for when that one moment comes, you're alive to it and can produce a good save? Well, that's almost the hardest thing. You know, when you, when you play for a team that are, that are, that are pushing up the table and um, as, as we are, you, you don't really have a lot lot in the game. And I find it helps me to, to talk a lot. So I'm probably quite vocal on the pitch and I find that that keeps me involved in the game. It's not easy. It's, it's one of the hardest things about the position for me. Um, I think that's, that's, that, that's tough. But again, like I say, that's when your team needs you. If you have nothing to do and you've, you've got to make a big save later on in the game then, and you're not, you're not ready, not switched on, then you know, you've let your side down. And, and you know, like I say, I'm, for me, the goalkeeper's role is just to be there in the moments when it matters. And you know, luckily, like I say, I was, I was there today. So that feels nice. At times, especially in that first half, it felt tempers were really reaching that boiling point when you are in the thick of it Harry are you aware of that especially with you being in goal and, and if so how do you keep those emotions under wrap? It's hard because obviously I was a spectator for a lot of the first half and I say that I, I, nobody really had a kick first half the, <laughs> the ball barely seemed to be in play and uh, you say tempers are tempers are raised but that's that's you know that's where we've got a fantastic captain that tries to keep everyone's um, everyone calm and everyone level and uh, I think he did a great job of that today um so yeah, it's, it's not easy, you know. I think the gaffer spoke about it at the end of the game, so it was an ugly game of football, and I think that's probably a fair assessment of it. You know, it's it's not the sort of standard of, and quality of football that, that we like to play, but um, yeah, I think you know, I think uh, they didn't make it easy for us. You know, they're they're sort of scrapping for their lives as well. So um, it was important that we we managed their threat, which we did early on. You know, because they had a lot of corners and, and they had a lot of the ball, but um, yeah, uh, as, as I say, I, I still feel as though we had we had chances to win the game really fighting for their lives as you say and that's now five unbeaten for them here mm. at this ground is it one of them maybe a few weeks on you can look back at this as a good point well that's the thing you never know you never know we've had points this season where you know in at the end of the season it might look like a good point right now as I say it feels disappointing yeah. because you feel like you could have won the game but you know at the end of the season every point matters um, again we're still unbeaten for a little while again for me we look solid you know we weren't under a barrage um uh, it, there's, there's for sure there's positives to take um, and that's what we're going to have to do because you know, it's a quick turnaround we go again Monday so there's no point sort of sitting and dwelling on disappointment and oh could have would have should have you know it's up to us now to, to move on and, and that's the beauty of football really because we go again in two days uh, three days time and we're going to have to be bang up for that game as well Is that a good thing some might say God that is a quick turnaround especially given all the 
train uh, traveling should i say but given you say you feel a bit disappointed i bet you're raring to get back out there aren't you well that, that's the thing that's that's how you have to look at it in, in this game you know and in these leagues where you're playing saturday tuesday saturday tuesday you have to look at it as right we go again you know we go again in, in three days time there's, there's no time to be disappointed yes there's time to look at it and think about what we might have done better but the most important thing is that by Monday at three o'clock, you know, your mind's fresh and you're ready to go again. You know, you might have a few things in your head about what you might look to improve on. But um, the most important thing is, is that you know, we put this behind us, we move on and, um, and yeah, we're, we're, we're on to Monday and it's a, it's a clean slate. I know you and I and the rest of the City squad, it was a tough journey down yesterday. Just a word on nearly 800 or just over 800 Bradford City fans who have made the trip down on a bank holiday. Ah, it's incredible. Um, I say it would have been really, really nice to to let them go home with three points, really. Um, and I'm, I'm, you know, I apologise for that. You know, we we, we have to be puffed, but um, you know, it's it, it's outrageous everywhere we go. The away fans are, are incredible. You know, you see some fans come to, to to Valley Parade, some away fans come to Valley Parade, and they they get nowhere near the numbers that we're getting. And it, it really does make a difference. It makes a difference when fans are loud. It makes a difference when fans are passionate. And you know, it it it, it, it and it's another proud moment to be to be playing for this football club when you when you bring that many fans on the journey like this on a bank holiday weekend. So so thank you so much again as always. Thanks for the support. And um, yeah, we're going to need you these next seven games. So keep it coming. Loud, passionate, and proud. That's how Valley Parade's going to be on Easter Monday, isn't it? I hope so. That's 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 what we need, and hopefully we can give them. Performance to match.